America's most exciting radio talk show, The Savage Nation. Here is Michael Savage. You know what I did want to talk about is how the um, liberals are blasting Romney because he's a Mormon. That really got me angry. I'm not a Mormon, let me be very clear. But for Newsweek to make Romney's religion a big issue got me very upset. I don't like it. And I, I think it's uh, it's something that's so un-American, it's unbelievable. Why, why a Mormon's fair game? How's that for a question? Now, before you get in a snit, South Park has poked fun of Christianity, too. And it's not only liberals who've written about Mitt Romney's Mormonism. Conservatives, like Hugh Hewitt, have written about it, too, as have former Mormons. But to answer Michael Savage's question, it's not about Mormons per se. The issue is about a Mormon president. For example, suppose it wasn't Mitt Romney running for president, but Mitmud Ramadinejad, a radical Muslim. Unless you were a radical Muslim yourself, you wouldn't want a radical Muslim for president. You know about radical Muslims, where they get their callings, and what they want to do. Did you know Mitt Romney can be called by this man? What is he called to do? Unless you've lived in Utah, you probably haven't a clue. So this will be a little primer on Mormonism. Why do other Christians uh, have a, an issue with Mormons? I don't quite understand it. The Mormons believe in Jesus Christ. Other Christians believe in Jesus Christ. Where's the problem here? Well, what's the problem between fundamentalist Christians and the Mormons? I don't quite understand that part of it. Can anyone can Luke, uh, explain that to me, educate me on this? Sure. It's like this. The Jews believe in someone called Jesus, who lived 2,000 years ago, who they crucified on a cross. But the Jews don't believe in Jesus' resurrection, and so don't believe he is God. Thus, they believe in a different Jesus than the Christian Jesus of the Bible. In the same way, the Mormon Jesus, who visited the Americas, is not the Christian Jesus. He is not God. He is merely a God, just one of a billion gods. And Mormons believe they can be exalted to be God someday. Further, as Mike Huckabee correctly pointed out, in Mormonism, Jesus and the devil are brothers. Hey, Catholics, the Mormon Jesus was conceived on earth when the God-man, who they call Heavenly Father, came to earth and, shall we say, overshadowed Mary, a virgin until then. Yes, you heard that right. When Mormons say their Jesus is the only begotten Son of God, they literally mean he is a son, sired in the flesh, just like you. The Mormon Jesus was also married and probably a polygamist, as required to earn his godhood. So we don't believe in the same Jesus Christs. Why are Mormons attacked by other Christians? Well, Michael, we like to think of it as defending the faith. See, it was Joseph Smith, the founder of Mormonism, who started this fight. He said that God told him that all the churches were wrong and that all our creeds were an abomination in his sight. So Catholics, Mormons believe that they are the one true church, not you. We Christians are simply contending for the true faith. You think that there's sort of a secret handshake that the Mormons go through in the Hall of Congress? I definitely believe that, Michael. But only the Mormons, no other group. Well, actually, the Masons, too. I've done business with Mormon people over the years. They're some of the finest people I've ever met. Very upstanding. Nobody ever stabbed you in the back that I dealt with. Nobody did a double deal. No one said one thing and did another. Nobody took you to court to try to, you know, screw you over on a contract. They're upstanding people, the ones I dealt with. I guess Dr. Savage forgot about the Salt Lake Olympic bribery scandal and subsequent criminal trials. To add insult to injury, it was a Mormon federal judge, Judge David Sam, who, despite federal law, did not recuse himself in this matter involving the good name of his church, but instead dismissed the charges against his Mormon brothers. And isn't it ironic that Mormon Mitt Romney was the savior of the Mormon Olympics? Is it possible that he and Brother Sam had a secret meeting in the rumored fortress under the church's headquarters in Salt Lake City to bury this incident? If Mormons are so trustworthy, then why this recent story about Utah being seen as the nation's fraud capital? As Mormons are fond of saying, by their fruits ye shall know them. And as far as I know, uh, we're not at war with any Mormons who are trying to blow up the country and, and pass some kind of Mormon law in the country. The last I checked, have you seen any of that? Any, any attempt to impose Mormon law in America? Actually, 
there is an attempt to impose Mormon law in America with the help of Mormon judges. I'll explain more in a video on Prop 8. But in the Mormon Church's Handbook of Instructions, which you can find on WikiLeaks, on page 187 we read, Church members are encouraged to appeal to legislatures, judges, and other government officials to preserve the purposes and sanctity of marriage between a man and a woman, and to reject all efforts to give legal authorization or other official approval or support to marriages between persons of the same gender. It's clear the membership has been following orders, and I presume Mitt Romney will too.